Any tips on how to get decently into lol except don't? Okay. Fair. I'm sure every time you ask that, people say don't. Okay. Sun praise it. And when people ask that, I do say don't. Okay. But let me, let me, let me help you out. Okay. For once, I won't give you the don't. Okay. If you're interested in League of Legends, then you should find a friend that you know that plays League of Legends. Okay. And they need to help you because the user, new user experience in League is not that great. And I would play bot lane with your friend. Maybe play support and learn the game that way, the mechanics of the game. And then I would play ARAM because ARAM is the best way to learn all, what all the characters do. Pog, cry brave. Pog. Uh, so ARAM helps you, basically you get a random randomized character every time and you can try all the abilities and understand what they do because the best way to learn the champions is to play it yourself, 100%. Like looking at the kit doesn't help you. Um, so play, play the tutorial. But don't listen to it have a friend explain the game to you play support with them while they explain the mechanics of the game don't watch pros to learn the game no 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 no. don't don't watch pros what pros are talking about is not what you need to learn you need to look at beginner basic guides and you should play a lot of aram that's how you start he's the question was how do you start playing league download it find anyone you know that plays uh post on the forums find someone to help teach you okay okay this guy just keeps talking about his poop that he took and it's really freaking weird, my guy. Like, no, no one cares about your poop. Like, I'm just being honest. Like, no one cares. You've been interested in playing League, and should you try it? Yes, yeah, says like, go ahead, give it a try. Yeah, I, I get coming from Smite, right? And people just say you know. The reason why they say that is because it's so toxic, right? League is not fun. So they are trying to help you by not getting into it. But realistically, I play League. I still like it. It's fun. It's fun with friends. I would say it's really fun with friends. Yeah. I think every League is really good at igniting your competitive spirit. Like, the second you touch League, you think, I want to be good at this. It would be cool to be good at this. I want to be better than my friends. I want to I wanna be good. You know, I feel like League is this game somehow where the second someone touches it, they think, I want to be better. And that's what League does really well. So... You will, you will be stuck on a grind, you'll feel insignificant, and you'll be like, I need to get better at this. But realistically, your grind's not going to necessarily lead you anywhere, right? You're going to spend hours getting better than your friends, and, and your friends are all going to qu qu quit by the time you get there, right? By the time you do get better, your friends aren't going to play be playing. That's what happened to me and a lot of people I know. So don't play it seriously. Play with your friends and have fun. That's what you should do when you play League. Yeah, you became a pro at what cost? Like, okay, okay. I think I've told this story before, but I had some really toxic friends that taught me League and they kept calling me the first season I got to Plat, they were being really mean to me and calling me boosted and stuff. And in order to get them to stop calling me a boosted animal, I had to 1v1 this other guy with silver on, on random champions that they choose for me. They'd be like, yo, 1v1 on Kha'Zix to prove that. And if you win, we'll stop calling you that. And it was just like, what the hell guys? Like, I, I just wanted to learn the game with you guys. All of them don't play the game anymore, and I outranked all of them by, like, two tiers. You know, like, I got to Grandmaster, and the best player on my friends group was Diamond 5, you know? Um, anyway, and here I am on Cloud9, so, like, I don't hold it against them. I think they were being stupid, but specifically the one guy that was kind of a jerk, I, I'm still upset about, I think. Um, it was just weird. Like... It made me uncomfortable and it made me feel bad about it. I literally cried about it. I don't think they knew, but like I definitely was crying about it. I felt so much pressured that they kept making fun of me all the time. Um, so like, make sure that you're when you're making jokes with your friends, both of you guys are in on it because it can be kind of hurtful. Um, but that was a long, 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 long time ago. So it, it's just the classic, like guys, I'm telling you, People are like, yo, I call my friend an e-girl all the time and she doesn't mind it, right? Or I call her a boosted e-girl or, or a support ego or whatever. Like, not gonna lie, you probably are hurting someone's feelings with that. And they're just not gonna say it because it's the norm. Um, but it can be kind of hurtful. You know, you should watch, watch yourself. Uh, you know, people are just internalize that and think, damn. Anyway. It is rude. That's all. Is that um, toxicity and banter is good, but sometimes you, you just say it over and over and over again that it, it, it's not banter anymore. Right? Banter is, banter is two people, by the way. Not just one. Banter is two people. 
It's a two-way street. It's not banter if you're just spouting insults at them. 